The Godfather of Harlem, Season 2, Episode 5. It's a small world after all. It shows the uh, world fairs going on, and apparently Bumpy and Chinchiganti are smuggling the duchy or the narcotics into the uh, decorations for the world's fair in the warehouse. And uh, Chance, Bumpy's lieutenant, we know from the first season, is, you know his uh, main number one lieutenant. Uh, he goes to the club, the Italians at the club, and uh, says something to him, and he he has an attitude with the he does not like the Italians with one bit whatever. And he goes see his girl. A girl, his girl works in the club. She's a bartender inside. It's a club, jazz club, and there's also a prostitution. Uh, spot too for guys or johns to get with the prostitutes so one of them one of the chins uh guys basically uh beat up one of the prostitutes and he goes at his girl so chance already got his gun cocked out ready to shoot and he shoots the guy like three times so bumpy has uh him and chin have problems because uh they want they want a chance and he says he makes a deal that he'll get him out of town and um even try to uh pay some money to the to the family of the guy that was killed and uh chance goes to his girl later on and he's not gonna leave he's staying in her apartment and um chance girl goes to bumpy and uh wants uh bumpy to protect him so that he doesn't get killed and uh that's going on. Ernie and Stella are going back and forth because Stella wants to tell her father that she killed Benny. And Benny's like, uh, Ernie says, no, I can't. We can't do that because uh, we'll be dead. And so because everybody thinks that he made it seem that Benny uh, went back to Florida and Chin and them know that Benny's not in Florida. Something's wrong. He's dead, and they believe that Banano killed him. And so, basically, Stella wants Ernie to kill one of Banano's people to throw off the whole situation that they, the ones that killed Benny. And she wants him to kill his the cousin, his cousin that works for Banano. He's not too prone about doing that but she's telling him that he's weak you want this but you never get this you need to go kill him i'm gonna tell my father so she's stella's getting really ruthless like she uh she's not innocent as she uh but then again she's chin gigante's daughter so what do you expect i digress <laughs> but uh then you've got uh linda b johnson's going to adam clayton powell that he wants to get this uh situation with the civil rights bill and tell him to play dirty that he can't uh participate in this particular situation that he wants adam clayton powell to do it so adam clayton powell has an idea to get mamie to entice the congressman that's that's going against the uh the bill for civil rights where uh African Americans could eat uh, in nice segregated uh, diners, restaurants, hotels, and whatnot. And he's not budging, so he's telling him to go to the Geeky Club and uh, have a drink and meet some pretty women. And then he said, the, the congressman said, the black or the berry sweet of juice. <laughs> I'm laughing, but that's true. But anyway, I digress. Um, so he gets Mamie, he, he, he calls upon Mamie to do this, and Mamie's not too happy about doing this. You know, what my husband's going to think about this? Don't tell your husband. Don't tell your husband. Adam Clay's house said, no. 
So he um she goes to the club and uh is on a pretty nice outfit and uh he thinks that he's gonna get Mamie. He's like, no, no, you you can talk to the other girls. It's the other girls that's in the club, the the uh the prostitutes that's in the other upstairs, you know. I'm I'm not gonna be the one. And then he told her that she reminded him she he rem, uh Mamie reminded him of of, of his mammy. <laughs> I was like, Oh boy. But anyway, uh he gets up there and sees all the girls and he said he wants to cohabitate with the girls and they cohabitate and somebody's in the room with the camera through a peephole taking pictures of the congressman and maybe does not feel good about uh, blackmailing this uh, politician and uh, so Adam Clean Powell has the uh, pictures and presents to the, to the uh, politician guy and um so you got me you got me you got me good you got me good you got me really good and then he takes the pictures and tears the pictures up he says no i'm not gonna resort to blackmailing and this type of uh posture uh, we're gonna get the civil rights done bill done through the righteous means uh then um basically chance they uh the Italians want chance Bumpy's lieutenant for because they kidnapped uh, his girl and they they telling her that he has to turn in Chance or they're going to kill the girl. So Chance and them go to the uh, meeting in the warehouse. The girls, they like they beat her up a little bit. Uh, she got like a black eye. Her eyes look swollen. And they said, okay, let the girl the girl go first, and then we'll give. Uh, then Chance will come, and Bumpy basically turns the tables on Chinchigante and shoot Chinchigante's men, and the girls running, and then they kill, shoot the girl, and kill the girl, and Chance is holding the girl, and uh, Chin and Bumpy will stand at each other, and yeah, their partnership is done for now. It's back to being enemies again. And uh, they got Linda B. Johnson doing a speech at the same time. Uh, Malcolm is talking to Elise, and Elise wants to tell her her daughter, who thinks she's, that she's her sister, that she's her mother. And he advised her that would be a good thing for her to tell. And he said, "What happens if I if she doesn't accept me?" And he's, he's like, "No, she will accept you." And uh, and she said that she's still in the nation, keeping eyes on what's going on for him to tell him what's going on. And uh, she goes to Mamie and wants to talk to her. And then they're watching Linda B. Johnson's speech going on. And Linda B. Johnson is talking about a world, uh, a new world with no uh, animosity toward each other and peace and love and. And that was back then, and we don't really see that at times in, now in 2021, as you can see what's going on on the news and stuff that's going on. A lot of things are still happening. And that's it for this episode. Very interesting episode. Very intense. Yeah, we figured that Chen and Bumpy weren't going to keep their partnership too long because something was always going to sabotage it. Yeah. And Ernie... Uh, basically kills his cousin Costella egged him on saying that he wasn't a real man and uh, basically we, we know how that goes well that's going to be it for this one till next time uh, take care subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you peace